Samatha is a practice that helps to get the mind focused um, and harnessed into one point. So the object of Samatha is actually to go deep into the mind or the Chitta and go into what we call the silent mind or the steady mind. Uh, it's to go beyond thinking. It's to uh, basically destroy. Uh, it's like an annihilation process. In other words, it's it's to go beyond thinking. It's to go beyond vision, uh, visions, hear, uh, um, hearing things, right? Audible sounds, uh, feelings, uh, pleasurable feelings, unpleasurable feelings, or neutral feelings. It's to go beyond uh, physical and mental. It's to go totally beyond this and go into a very steady frame of mind, very steady, 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 steady. Right? That's the object of Samatha. Uh, the object of vipassana is the opposite in some ways, right? The object of vipassana is to investigate and analyze a subject <clears throat> to, to the nth degree. So in other words, for example, if we were to focus on a candle flame and you wanted to do vipassana, uh, sorry, samatha, right? So <clears throat> what you would do is you would look at the flame and not engage in any other discourse you would and you wouldn't even uh, question the flame at all like why is the flame moving etc 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 in Samatha you would just totally absorb yourself into that flame and nothing else in Vipassana if you were looking at the flame you would investigate it and say what where, where does this flame come from how is this flame held up <clears throat> what constitutes the flame uh, why does the flame have a shadow etc 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 so Samatha and Vipassana have two different, uh, diff uh, different uh, qualities, different, uh, different attributes and different objectives, right? Now, there are those who practice Samatha and those who practice Vipassana and those who practice both and those who practice neither. Uh, there is a different type of uh, awareness. They practice uh, Sati more than anything else and uh, they go through that way. But in terms of Samatha and Vipassana, they can be practiced at the same time. Uh, but the idea is to bend your mind or uh, point your mind to investigation when the mind is really, really steady. Right? So um, there is a practice called Anapanasati, which is the um, awareness of the breathing, okay, the in and out breath. And um, in the circles that I travel with, um, and that I've, uh, uh, the monks that I've spoken to, uh, it is regarded, um, which is a bit controversial, that Anapanasati is, is both Samatha and Vipassana because you're steadying, you're steadying yourself um, and, you're, and you're investigating and you're analyzing at the same time. And this is why Anapanasati is a very advanced method. It's an advanced method. And the Buddha taught it to the Arahants um, to begin with, right? So it's a very advanced practice, actually. It's not basic. So usually in uh, my tradition, which is the Dharma Yut tradition, we start off with concentrating on breath, but adding uh, a mantra to it with the Buddha, the Buddha mantra to it, um, to start off with a simple object. Well, it's not quite simple, but... Um, and Buddha is one of the four guardian uh, meditations.